put my safety gloves back on and start the melt. You want to start off like with the seasoning of the borax on the crucible with a nice light flame. My gold is uh, already in a nice clumpy form, very tight clumps which will aid in not having it blow away. So I'm going to be able to do this pretty quickly. What you want to do is get a nice uh, kind of like a encasing on the surface of the powder and this will prevent it from blowing away once you turn the heat up. Since my gold is already nice and tight in clumps, I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. And you'll start to see that the gold will easily melt. Just want to go around the edge of the dish and get the metals on the outside first. And then you're going to work it into the middle. already see some of the metal melting and it'll shrink and this has that nice coat on it so I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to full blast right on the camera so I'm going to take the flame off and you can see it's very very hot and it's coming together. Turn it up a bit more. You want to get good movement on the torch. This will help to bring together all the metal. getting smaller.
turn the lights off. Let's see if we can see a little better on camera. See it's getting smaller and smaller into a molten blob in the middle. stop there that way I can add the other metals or the other powder as you can see it's uh, come together quite a bit not 100% but that's okay because the melt is not done yet the dish has a nice glaze to it nice evenly distributed so I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the powder back my safety gloves and just start again start out with a nice low flame this is more of a medium flame but that's okay because my gold is uh, very clumpy you'll notice that the gold now melts much much quicker in the powder state because the crucible is extremely hot. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. Again, go around the outside and work your way in. big chunks have uh, become somewhat molten it has that nice coating I was talking about so I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. 